More than a dozen local daycares were inspected recently. Seven got hit with violations. Channel 4's Crystal Moyer dug through reports from the Department of Children and Families and visited the daycares to make sure they're keeping your kids safe. She has the details in this week's daycare report card. The daycare I visited was in northwest Jacksonville and was cited for a bug problem. I also have an update on a west side daycare I visited last week that was at risk of losing its license. This week's daycare report card led me to Creative Minds Academy on Edgewood Avenue North. According to the inspection report, a counselor found several live roaches in the kitchen cabinets where utensils and pans are kept. Now, I spoke to one of the staff members at the daycare who believes the roaches came from a donated box of apples they put on the cabinet. Since the inspection, they've had an exterminator treat the area and say they have pest control visits once a month when the kids are away. Last week, Wayman Early Learning Center made our daycare report card after receiving several violations. It was also put on a provisional license for not having a certified director, but I've since heard back from its pastor, Mark Griffin. He told me the Wayman Early Learning Academy has been open for 20 years and has served more than 1,000 kids. In a statement, he said, quote, when a child care center loses its director, it is standard procedure for DCF to place the center on provisional license status until a new credentialed director is hired. We have two credentialed individuals currently on staff and are in the process of hiring a third such individual. Once we determine which person is best qualified to serve as the director of record, we will submit that information to DCF, which will remove the provisional status. None of the findings in the report were health, safety, or welfare concerns, which show the quality of care we provide of our children. The findings were administrative in nature and reflect the fact that we are in transition with our administrative staff. DCF says Wayman Early Learning Academy has until the end of August to have a credential director on record with the state. Otherwise, their license will be revoked. I've listed the results of the most recent daycare inspections on our website. That's newsforjacks.com. The story is on our homepage. And while you're there, you can also check the reports of other local daycares. Crystal Moyer, Channel 4, The Local Station.